Hey guys, it's Jay. Welcome back to another video. This time it's going to be another Photoshop tutorial. We're going to go into the, the tools panel in Photoshop and we're going to go through what most of the tools are for, what they do and that kind of thing. We'll go through the most common ones first, but we'll go through all of them. Briefly, I'm not going to make it a too long of a video, maybe a 10 minute video, something like that. But we'll just go through the main, main ones, what they're for, that kind of thing. But yeah. Let's get to it. Okay guys, um, I got this image from, I just got it from Google, I typed in copyright free images and this came up. I'll, put, I'll pop the link in the description just in case you just want to try anything out on this image yourselves. Alright, first we're going to start up just at the move tool. We're not going to do anything in the artboard tool. We'll do that in another video if you would like that. All right, the move tool, pretty, you know, it moves things. Yep, nothing special about that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, I've got our um, marquee tool, our regular one and our elliptical one. Regular, uh, ma uh, sorry, our elliptical one is the circular type one. You hold shift, goes into a circle, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we've got the regular, which is a rectangle. If you hold shift, it turns into a square. Okay, we've got our magic wand tool. The magic wand tool works on color and luminance. So how bright your image, how bright a certain part of your image is. So if I select this sky, it's selecting the color and the brightness. So everything in that brightness around this range um, gets selected. You can change the tolerance level. So if I put this up like 66, it's going to select a lot more. So it's selected the whole sky plus more. Uh, excuse that, it's just the phone ringing, don't worry about that. Alright, but if I just put that tolerance down to like 16 and select, it's selecting a lot less. So, that's that. Um, we've got our crop tool, which is pretty simple. We've got the eye eyedropper tool, which is if I click on a colour, it puts it down to my foreground colour. Pretty simple. We've got our spot healing brush. The spot healing brush, if I try and remove something like this, down here, it does it all itself. It's like the auto mode kind of thing. So that's that. Just yep, yeah. select that. All right, we've got the spot. The not spot. That was the spot. We've got the healing brush tool now. So this this works similar to how the clone stamp tool does. So if I hold Alt or Option and I click somewhere and I try and clean it up, see it tries to blend it. It doesn't look too nice on edges. But if I tried to get rid of um, these little dots here, so if I zoom in um, and I go older option and I try and remove that, just like that, it works great. So it's very similar to the spot healing brush tool, the clone stamp tool, sorry. Okay, control zero, command, command zero to full screen. All right, we've got the patch tool. This works, if I wanna, Oh, got to be selected on the right layer. If I've got something in the sky and I want to fill it with something else, but sort of blend it, that's what it does. It works, not on this image as such, but if it works better on people if you're removing something out of an image, you can do it like that. I might make another video on that if you like that. Content Aware Move Tool, I'm not going to go through that today. We've got the Brush Tool. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory, it's just like that. I've got a neat tip. If you hold control, control and option on a Mac, not too sure on a PC, I think it could be Alt, right click, and then do it. But if I hold control and option, and I'm click and move my mouse, left and right, it makes it bigger and smaller, and up and down, it makes it harder and softer. So if I make it just like that, and I'll make it 100 opacity and flow, I can paint. It's pretty simple. So like that, I'll remove that. Yep, okay. Okie dokie. Alright, we'll go to the clone stamp tool. I'm not going to go through the the pattern, the pattern stamp tool. I've never really used that. I've never had the need to, but that's pretty simple. It's, 
you're just pretty much making a clone. So if I click here and I'll paint over here, it's making a clone of where the where I've sampled. Again, you can make it bigger. You can make it put the flow to 100. Sample here, paint. It's pretty simple. All right. Um, I've got the history brush tool and the art brush tool. I'm not art history brush tool. Sorry, I'm not going to go through those today. Maybe all right, we've got our. Um, I've got the eraser tool. So if I paint, if I get the eraser tool, it's pretty much yeah, erases. I don't like to use that because I like to um, work in layers. I don't like to do do that, and I like to work in layers and get rid of things that way by just by deleting the layer, or I use layer masks if I need to. Got the gradient tool. I've selected as my foreground color to be blue. So if I zoom out, it's pretty. It just creates a gradient of whatever color or like. If you're doing, I usually use gradients and layer masks. Most if I'm creating a vignette or whatever. All right, I've got our blur tool. Blur tool works as it sounds. The blur tool it blurs things. So if I make this bigger and I try and blur just by clicking. It blurs. That's all. It, that's all that does, pretty much. Um, we've got our sharpen tool. That works the exact same. It sharpens. I don't know if you can see it, but as I'm doing that, it's just making it sharper and sharper and sharper, and it just looks disgusting. So, yeah. All right. We've got that. We've got our dodge and burn and our sponge tool. I don't really use that, so I'm not going to go through that today. Um, we've got the burn tool. This works more. They, these are from back in the film days. But I don't use them a lot, but the burn tool normally works if you're doing it, you, it's best if you're retouching, that's what it's used for the most. So it basically makes things darker, just like that, and it does it to a certain exposure, which I've got set up there, 50. And the same goes with the dodge tool. The dodge tool makes things brighter. Burn makes things darker, dodge makes things brighter. And the way I remember that is burn black makes things darker. That's, that's how I remember it. Okay, um, what have we got? We've got the text tool, that's pretty simple. You click, type, yep, pretty simple. Delete. There we go, okay. We've got our pen tool. I'm going to make another video on this. It is a very tricky tool, but it's used for creating selections. If I want to create a selection around this kidney grill here, I click, I make another one, and just drag up until I'm happy. Hold Alt or Option, another one, and it creates a very, very nice selection around it. You've got to learn about paths and stuff like that when you're using this. So that's why I said I'm going to make another video just so you guys can understand how, how, it, how it works and how to work it. Once you get the hang of it, it's pretty simple. All right, well, I've just created a, what they call it a path. But I'm going to make that straight into a selection. I'm not going to feather it. Um, Control J to duplicate it. And if I just look straight at that, it's a quite, it's very neat. <laughs> that was just a rough job. You can see around here, it's done it nicely, if you know what I mean. So much better than using the, the lasso tool or any other tool like that. But yeah, okay, what are we up to? We've got the path tool, that, that goes with the pen tool. So I won't be talking about that today. We've got just the, hand, the move tool, which it just moves it around. Kind of thing. If you're working, you can. If you in any tool like the brush tool, if you hold spacebar, it goes straight to the hand tool. So you can move it around. If you're zoomed in, you can move around. That's all that really is. Um, and the magnifying glass that just zooms in. Hold spacebar, move around again. I usually click, click Command plus and minus, and it move, zooms in and out. That's what I usually use. But yeah, if you want more further detail on any other any tools that I've gone over today just drop them in the comments and I'll get back to them but yeah yeah guys that's pretty much it 
Um, I might make a separate video just on the pen tool as it is a more complex tool. Um, it has a few things to do with it that I didn't go through today. But yeah, I'll make I'll make one of them. If you really if you'd like that, drop it in the comments. But yeah, guys, make sure to like and subscribe. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. But yeah, that's all I got for you today, guys. If you want any more future videos, drop them in the comments. But yeah, guys, have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.